religion. Okay. I don't preach sermons no more. I don't even know what a sermon is. I teach series because the Bible says this faith cometh by hearing. hearing. And so a lot of times we get up and we preach a message one time. How did the people get it one time? You got to keep on saying it and doing it and saying it and then saying it and then seeing demonstration of it. To me, I can't get off a subject till I see it demonstrated. All right. Because to me, God is a demonstrating God. God said in the beginning, let there be light. Whew! What was it? It, it was, was light. light. light okay, ain't light ain't stopped yet. Is. No, light, light is continued to go. Outside, it's right light now. now. And then when it comes dark here, light in China. Because right. light never stops. Right. God is an eternal God. Everything he does is eternal. So we have to quit limiting God to that. So we have to get somewhere where they're letting us know, listen, this is how it works. This is what it does. God can do that. And you need to take God out the box of religion and put him in the box of relationship and get everything he got for you. Everything that he everything. got for you. Now, one of the things that happens in the Bible, when he performed miracles, he will say, your faith yes. has healed you. Yes. Your faith has done these things. Right. So is it just a, a matter of us having to expand our faith? Absolutely. You have to, um, now, we talk about the lifestyle now. It's a different. Okay. In experience, you don't have to have good faith. Just, it could just happen. It could just happen. Like the man at the pool. He That's said, the experience. Will you be made whole experience. to that? But, but see, I, the lifestyle means I got to believe this thing. Okay. I, I take this word. This is my contractual agreement with him. Okay. I believe it. All right. I believe everything he wrote in here, I can have it. I don't believe this is just a story. Okay. You got to read, listen, we talked about this. You can read this as information or you can read it and get revelation. Yes. Information yes. gives you an experience. Mm -hmm. Revelation gives you a lifestyle. All right. So I don't want the information. I need the revelation. Well, we pray that you get the revelation of the word of God as it relates to the supernatural. If you want to call Pastor McCurry, you can, um, actually you can email him at greg at mynewbeginnings.org or you can always visit us at the church. Where 3106 West 73rd Street, right off of Clark Street. And we have a guarantee. If you don't get your new beginning, we got a misery back guarantee. We'll give you your misery back if you don't want your new beginning. Amen. We'll be right back. Like all new parents, my husband and I want what's best for our baby. We talk to our doctor about vaccines. We learned that immunizations are not only a good idea, they could save our daughter's life. Get the facts. Vaccines save lives. There are heroes among us. They don't fly or bend steel or ride off into the sunset. They simply volunteer to look after someone else's health by providing comfort, lending a hand, or simply keeping us on track. Everyone's health needs a hero. Who will you look out for? Find out how you can participate in improving our health. Visit iParticipate.org. Before I was diagnosed, I was doing typical stuff. Basketball, basketball for fun, football, football practice. Mother of two young boys. Took a blood test. Kayla has leukemia. Acute leukemia. Myeloma. Hodgkin's disease. There's nothing worse in the world than this scare. Who's going to take care of my kids? I called the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Cancer needs a community. I know I'm not alone. It's you who are the support. It's giving people that hope. With your help, I can be cured. With your help, we can beat blood cancers. Be there to give them hope. To get or give help, go to LLS.org. Well, welcome back to Do You Know Him? Do You Know Him? Do You Know Him? As you see, we have switched our seats now, and I am now your host, Pastor Gregory McCurry. <laughs> and it is such a wonderful time that we have spent with you guys today. <laughs> and I just want to give you this one more nugget on the supernatural. You need to believe it, receive it, conceive it, and do it. Yes. Let's quit walking like normal. Um, I tell them a story. Um, there was Clark Kent and there was Superman. All right. God has not called you to be Clark Kent. He has called you to be Superman for him. So listen, everybody, let's put that super on our man. Let's begin to see the miracles coming back into the body of Christ. And let's see God be glorified with everything we're doing. Amen. 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 Not just Superman, but Superwoman too. Amen. <laughs> so, in closing... I always give my viewing audience an opportunity to know him. Mm -hmm. So would you um, lead them in prayer if they wanted to get to know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior right now? Well, the one thing that I would like to say is remember the thing that was said to me. 
just being good is not good enough to get you in heaven. Uh, there are going to be a lot of good people in hell. And so you need to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That's what this is all about. I'm guaranteeing you, you get to know him and your life will never be the same. So the thing you need to do, you need to ask the Lord to forgive you for all your sins and know that when you ask him for it, he covers them all. They're no longer um, in your life anymore. The blood of Jesus has covered that. Yeah. And you have become new. The Bible said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. And behold, all things become new. If you want that all today, I want you to pray with me. I want to pray for you today. Ask the Lord today. Say, Lord, come into my heart. Forgive me for all of my sins. And Father, I believe that Jesus died for my sins and that you raised him from the dead. And accept him in your heart today. Say, I accept Jesus in my heart. It ain't no hard thing. You ain't got to run around. You ain't got to roll around on the floor. A salvation is simple. So keep it simple and accept him today and take him on and watch your life change. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Do You Know Him? Our very special, special guest was my husband, Pastor Gregory McCurry from New Beginnings Ministries. If you would like to give him a call, you can call him at 216-916-9270. You can visit him at 3106. West 73rd, 73rd Street. Off of Clark on the west side of Cleveland. Um, services start at 1045 a.m. And everyone is welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you got an understanding of the supernatural power of God. I'm your host, Lady T, Teresa McCurry. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for being a guest today. Thank you for having me.